This video is sponsored by Wingwing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion whole test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well for today's valued viewer request. We have from Kermakt Mur. Question, can you shoot down a bomb or missile with a tow? Uh, oh, tow? What does tow stand for, guys? Two blanched optical wire guide? There, what Cortana said, that thing, um, would be very interesting. And we, we thought we would expand on this. So the thing that we're going to shoot down, let's make it as easy to shoot down as possible for this scientific test. We've chosen this. It is being fired from a Chinese bomber. It is the K. D63. It's a lovely big fat cruise missile. It burns badly, so it has a lovely big smoke trail. It doesn't do any evasive maneuvers. So if anything can get shot down, this will. I mean, look at the size of the thing. It's nearly as big as an F-16. That's what we're going to be shooting at. So the first thing to do is our control tests. I want to show you that proper anti-missile stuff works in DCS. I'm going to show you that an SA-15 gauntlet, which is pretty much designed for shooting down missiles, can attack it. Then I want to show you that a proper radar-guided AAA system gun can also shoot it down. Then we're going to move on to some even more interesting stuff. What manual non-guided weapons, or non-guided in terms of they're not radar-guided, can shoot down this missile? We will have some stingers. Yes, I know they're guided, but they are literally not designed to do this in any way, and I'm sure they won't work. But we've got some stinger man pads we'll try. Then we've got the toes. They are guided in that you know, command by wire type system, but they're again not designed in any way to shoot down other missiles, but we'll try it. And then we've got a selection of non-guided weapons. Now that guy there has radar ranging and that guy there has some sort of radar guidance, but none of them are set up for attacking missiles, as you'll clearly see. At the very top end, 35 Mike Mike twin barreled Spar Geppard, this beastie. That we're going to try and use. Then we've got the radar range in Vulcan here. Then we've got a flak feeling Acton uh, World War II German anti aircraft cannon. Then we've got this quad barreled half inch that we're going to try. We've got a uh, Bofors 40 Mike Mike going all the way back to World War One, I, I think, at this point. A M1 kind of equivalent 37 Mike Mike. Then we've got a Russian S60 57 Mike Mike. And finally, at the very bottom, we've got just a basic flak 38 German 20mm World War II. Again, just optical sight, nothing else. Oh, a second test. Due to popular demand, we want to check if Backblast is modelled from recoilless weapon sets like the Stinger system. In Armour 3 that we use, Backblast is modelled. It will just kill every, anything behind you. Will Daisy the Cow get cooked by a Stinger system? Don't know. We'll see if it's modelled. Uh, guys, predictions. In terms of the stuff that's not designed for shooting down missiles, do you think there's anything there that will be able to shoot the missile down? And do you think that Daisy will get cooked? I dislike our chances of shooting them down with the missiles, but I mean, if we get enough lead up in the air, I think we could shoot it down with the uh, with the unguided weapons. I and I don't think backblast is uh, is modeled, but it'd be cool if they were to do that. Simba, Daisy survives and. Cortana will find a way to shoot it down with every object. Roger. Okay, well, that's that's very politically correct. I think the opposite. I think Daisy will not get butchered, and I think there's no way in heck any of these weapons are going to work because they're simply not designed for it, guys. Toes, I think I've got brush fuses on. That means that for the thing to go off, we'd physically need to hit the missile with this missile. That ain't going to happen in a million years. The Stinger probably won't get locked probably won't get locked and even if it does again i'm pretty sure it's a brush fuse on there physically it would have to hit another missile ain't gonna happen and triple a uh, no i don't think there's anything here with proximity fuses i stand to be corrected but i think it's all just impact fuses you need to physically get one or more of your bullets to hit that missile and even then i'm not completely sure it will take it down so I think you're very optimistic first let's just go and show that the other stuff can so first i'm going to isolate a tor and let you show that a tor We'll shoot it down. I'll just do this in single player for ease. Goes our guy. Goes our missile. Big, fat, slow missile. Could not want a better target than a KD-63. Let's go and have a look at our boy. Here he is. The system is designed for shooting down missiles as well as other moving uh, aircraft, helicopters and whatnot. It's getting set up now. It's detected it. I think it's going to face in the wrong way at the moment, I think. Yep, it's got to get the track plate there, or the Ranger, to aim at the missile. 
It's a VLS system, so it launches upwards. Which is useful in all sorts of ways. It will kill the missile before we even get to see it. There we go. Multiple missiles, one missed. And the second one here, and it blows it up with a proximity blast frag fuse. Uh, it's a dead missile. Next, let's try the uh, guided AAA. Tunguska, very advanced set. It also has sack loss missiles as well, out of interest, but it can't use them. You can't, you can't shoot the missile down with sack loss. So it's going to be guns only. This is a real... Oh, oh it's firing already. Jesus, hey. This is my favourite set in the whole of the game. I mean, it just looks so beautiful. Can you just kind of see it there on the corner of the screen? Got it. That's it. It just blew up. Um, I don't think it has any, um, it's, it's brand new, these missiles in game. They're not programmed to boom, explode fully yet. So it'll just disappear when it gets hit. Uh, they'll, you know, add it in uh, in the next few weeks, I imagine. Guys, so obviously we knew they were going to work and they worked. Next, should we try stingers first, guys? Sure. Who's in the um, one on the right? Simba. Simba, you'll be toasting, um, you'll be toasting Daisy today. I like mine well done, please. I just don't think that these man pads will be accurate enough to set off a, a brush fuse you know a contact fuse that'd be some weapon if it did but i think it's highly improbable i'm not even sure we're gonna get tone i doubt we'll get tone in real life would you get tone probably i mean it's, it's coughing out a lot you know a large amount of heat probably would in dts i mean why would they have programmed it i don't know i don't know uh for interest the altitude of the object is 2000 feet roger six miles we're gonna see it very shortly so i'm jumping back into my little man i can't see it I should have cleaned my screen guys a tally not actually that far above the horizon on 219 as predicted i'm in first person view non-isometric it's in my reticle now waiting for tone waiting for tone this is going to be painful waiting for tone waiting for tone come on give me tone come on give me tone give me tone give me tone aiming right at it come on can we fire with that tone tone oh. firing miss on the way fire. missed yeah just like we thought guys fair play that's programmed pretty well. What happened was, we all got our missiles off. Look, as you can see, it got toned, which is modeled beautifully. And just like I thought, the chances of that being guided so well that you're within a couple of centimeters to get the brush fuse to hit, it's just never gonna happen. Um, so I think that is absolute perfection how they've got that. And I'm actually chuffed. Next, guys, we're gonna get tow missiles, which is exactly the same problem. You're never gonna get a tow. Tow missiles are not particularly accurate. They kind of spin around the you know, they move around a bit. You've all seen the footage of wire guided missiles where they kind of ooh, ziggle, ziggle about a bit. Again, their contact fuses, the chance of getting one on a target is nil. Oh, sh sugar, we couldn't test Daisy. We couldn't test Daisy because everyone blew up because the missile yep. hit. So there is no testing of Daisy. I'm afraid to say valid viewers, Daisy is gonna die every time. If you've got a problem with that, write to a GRHR complaint at ripcord.com. Here's a suggestion guys, don't get wet feet too early wait for it to get relatively close it's going to be tempting to fire way off that's my suggestion for the day i'm going to do a practice shot into the sea watch this valley just watch the seagull get towed see what i mean about it spins around now what's the chances you're going to get that to hit a 10 inch wide object i can tell you zero when you're funny if you hit the seagull oh i thought you hit it i yeah i, I just barely miss it that was crazy the uh when it hit the end of its range it goes it spins it does tumble yeah that's exactly right i wonder if that's an intentional thing it might be because you're spinning it moving it around try firing one without moving the reticle i think it's because okay. you, you're commanding it so much it just puts itself in a tumble like it loses aerodynamic stability to away all right so let's see what happens so it's not tumbling it'll go forever basically well not ever but you know what i mean but it tumbles when you try and move it outside its limits. It'll stall the missile. Gotcha. Which again is great modeling. That's, you know, probably what you find once they run out, run out of airspeed and stability. Oh no, it's tumbling. Oh wow. It's tumbling. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's what I mean. Well, no, it, yeah, it sort of started to spin, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, okay, guys, huh. we need to concentrate on our job. And I say job very loosely. Haven't no joy. Terminal Tally. Tally. Right, here we go, guys. I am going to wait, wait, wait. Wait till it's on its. Yes, on its terminal. terminal dive here. Roger. Right, who's going to go first? Who's going to bottle it first? That's the question, guys. Actually, it's probably going to identify relatively early because then we... Um, it's not on this terminal yet. Because then it stabilises. We can stabilise it. Is it actually going to bend down? Oh, sugar, it's not coming down, Cortana. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Here it comes. I am um, rifle. Oh no, we're at the limits of the uh, of the gimbal. Not for me. I'm not. Ah! <laughs> I mean. It probably is modelled, bearing in mind what we've seen before, but again, getting that thing to hit a 10 inch wide target, wherever it is, I mean, what are the chances? It might, if it swooped just at the right time, but we could probably do that 20 times and spend an hour on it and not hit it. And uh, my life is too short for that, guys. So do you agree that that's probably, it's possible, but it's not really a thing? Highly improbable. Mm, highly improbable, that works for me. Right, guys, now we're going on to the everyone's favourite bit, of course, the guns! The Valley Viewers have asked the probability of hitting a helicopter with a tow, and that is a, that is a real thing. There's nothing uh, kind of controversial about it. You can get in a tank and shoot a helicopter down with a tow. Probably is a thing in real life as well. Easy to do. We've done it in plenty of games. And one of the dangers of tanks in-game is that they will shoot you as a helicopter driver down with a tow well, literally with a toe. Simple as that. Okay, guys, um, who's going to go on what gun? I suggest we start on the big guns first. I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, use what you want to use. A, uh, I grabbed a bow for us. All right. Well, look, I'm not like you guys. I'm sensible and I'm getting this. Get some 30 mic mic tennis balls designed for shooting stuff down. And we've got one of you on the 20 mic mic Vulcan cannon, which is incredibly. Uh, I might grab the Veerling. That might be the next fastest yeah. fire. Come on, give, give, give some of those 20 mic mic bullets out. Oh, look at Cortana's oh, yeah. in green. Cortana's That's in proper. green. Stability on. Stability on. If you've got a stabilization system, the Vulcan would have a stability. Press Victor. All right, everyone's have to get your vector of 219. Uh, two, now, remember, guys, however close it looks, you're going to need lead, as in some up, right? Because all bullets dip super quick. So I think my biggest problem is I only have 80 rounds. Ah, gun. So it's uh, yeah, that's, that's a you problem right now. Um, uh, yeah. So better not practice anymore. So what will give us the best chance of this? Not accuracy, I doubt. I guess it's just like the uh, American philosophy of, of the M61 cannon, which is as much lead in the air as possible. I doubt an M61 is very accurate, but they bounce around on that frame and, and stuff like that. But the amount of lead in the air in a second probably means something will die. That's the same thing with the Sea Wiz, right? Sea Wiz isn't accurate. You couldn't put a hole in a, in a target. But with all that lead in the air, roughly in the right direction, something's going to die. Okay, guys, it should be here. Still no oh, tally. tally on the clouds. Which we can yeah. now save because they're linked. Look at me, I've got all the ammo caught on. I can just sit here pumping. Yeah, I've got to wait till just about the last second. Yeah. Hasn't nosed over yet. Here we go. Remember, right, a tiny bit coming. of elevation. I can't zoom in. Neither can I. Yeah, I we got, got it. it. We got, got it. it. Well done, guys. Holy crap. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised. I'm genuinely surprised about that, guys. Right. Okay. So those things work. Okay, guys. That's, um... That's, um... Let's go down to the, the lesser uh, uh, vehicles. So that, like I said, it wasn't accuracy. It was just the amount of lead in the air at once. Think how many bullets we were firing. Uh, thousands, thousands, hundreds a second. Someone on the stream says the Vulcan is 7.62. I'm pretty sure it's an M61 20 mil. Can someone confirm? I'm pretty sure the M134 minigun is 7.62. So we're going for uh, uh, single barreled weapons now, guys. We've tried multi barrel and amazingly they work. I'm going for the mighty S60 because size matters. Literally, I mean, my bullet's slightly bigger. I guess the chances of grazing it are bigger. All right, I'm going for the bow force. Right, I've only got four rounds to use per mag, so I'm just going to have a practice. Right. Must not. I've got a high explosive tracer. Sounds perfect. Let's get on target. Actually, I might, I'm might. i going to grab the uh, quad mount M2 here just to... Uh... Modger. I think those are just half inch, aren't they? Yep. It should have a high rate of fire. If you've got some ammo, go on, fire some guns. Nice, look at that. Oh, right click zooms in. Right click zooms in. I don't have eyes on it. I'm not going to put any, I'm not going to put your bullets out because I've got very few. Oh, eyes on. Not terminal. Now it's terminal. Reload, reload. Oh, we got it. Oh yeah. Wow. 
Okay. All right, guys. The last thing to do is to move to the crappest guns we possibly can. The value viewer says Cap is eating his words. I am. But if I'm going to eat my words, this is a pretty down good way to eat your words. Let's do Flak 38, M1, and Bofors, guys. Right. Cap, can you see Daisy? Yeah, shoot Daisy in the ass. Oh, Daisy! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Your goose is cooked. Turns out a flat cannon might be a bit much. Yes, these are the worst guns we've got. I know, you know, 40 mil mil is not bad, but... You know what we ought to try? Yes. Infantry. We can't drive them. You can't drive... No. Oh, That's project. one thing I wish they would do. But I know it's stupid running around in a flight sim with rifles, but I think you should be able to. It will take almost no programming. And you should be able to be stupid if you want to be stupid. You paid the money. It would be very amusing to, you know, make a, a, a very low-level uh, first-person shooter game. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Seven miles, we should be coming optical soon. Let me see if I can get the zoom working. Yes, I can. It's got a zoom, baby. Right, I'm going to find you. Tally, Hi, first John. set of clouds. Right, remember, there's not a great deal of point firing until she goes terminal because it would be possible to add a lead. I just had something hit the water. That's how probably our bullets were shot right up into the air. They do, our model, they all come all the way down. I did that in a question video. Fire an M61 up into the air, and 10 minutes later they come down. All right, it's nosing over. Right, what am I in a bow for? Okay, here he goes, guys. Get some, you mother! Oh, no accuracy and no fire rate. No! no. Yeah, I got it! <laughs> I got 40 nice. mic mic right in his chuff. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Right. We were milliseconds from death. Celebrate, shoot everything up. Get some, you mother! Oh, I blew myself up. How embarrassing for all of us involved. That was a real surprise. Right, now, as we all know in GR, we are not allowed to have fun. We're not paid to have fun. We're paid to do science. And the science said, obviously, the things that shoot the missiles down weren't fine. The stingers fired, just like they should have. But the fuse didn't go off because, you know, they're just not that accurate. The toes fired, just like they should have. They almost certainly would hit the missile if... Um, you, you hit it, but the, the chance of getting a, a missile that inaccurate on a type of that size is basically zero. You know, you do it for hours until you did it. And finally, the guns were the real surprise for the, you know, real proper anti-aircraft guns, modern, Gepard, Vulcan. It took seconds before it was down. The uh, kind of medium set, the quad barrel, quad feeling, the quad M2, we managed it with relative ease. And the single barreled equipment, the Bofors, uh, the American boat type Bofors as well and Cortana's single feeling we just got it when it was a few feet from blowing our faces off in, in real life that missile still would have been effective because the shrapnel would have come and hit us all and killed us at 400 knots and we'd all be va vaporised anyway but oh, I should say what we were protecting value dues we were protecting the beer that there is the beer and the beer is all that matters uh, just out of curiosity was the uh, the beer the ale or the uh... Ooh. Which, which uh, that's, I can't get? remember what the options were, so let's just say the yeah, ale. That's important. Well, I'm going to say ale. I question whether or not there should be a bonus round of put Cortana in a mirage and tell her she can only shoot it with the gun from behind. S okay. Why the S not? Right out. Okay, valued viewers. Uh, mission slip slightly here, but we're going to try it anyway. Cortana is going to try wing tipping and or shooting down this missile. I have no idea what's going to happen. So three, two, one, go. Right, um, just follow it visually. Where's the missile gone? Oh, there it is. I'm on it. Right, just let it stabilise before you play with it. I'm just going to try to get established uh, yeah. in parade formation with it here first. Okay, it's going to stabilise at 2,000 feet and stable. Yep, here's what right. done. Do a thing. It appears to almost be too close to get a radar lock on. I don't think it will get a radar lock on it because you can coast speed. It's in your notch oh, filter. Oh, that's your point. Ooh. Ooh. That's something I didn't account for. I actually have to back up off of it a little bit. Yeah, the, your I guns are actually quite low down off your centre sight. Well, no, it's... Uh, I literally watched the bullets go on either side of it. In the ah, convergence. That's a problem. Oh, I backed off a little bit and now I do have... Hey, got it. You got it. Cool. All oh, right, one more time. Go for a wingtip. If I take it with the tail, I think it'll work. Yeah, and you can get rid of your tail without it will get rid of it, yeah. So we're going to try it that way first. Yep. We're going to pick it up in trail and 
Hey! It knocked it just knocked your tail off. Knocked your tail okay. off. And it's carrying on, Cortana. Are you gonna let him get away with that? Wait, it's carrying on? Yes, it's carrying on. And you are not carrying on. <laughs> nope, I just died. Wait. How about Where that? Did go? It's just carrying on. It's just be like yeah. Right, so that was unexpected. Cortana got oh. smashed to pieces and the missile is fine. On my client side, yes. it's gone. Ooh, a little bit of desync there. Right, so it yeah. disappeared for you, but that hasn't been programmed into it yet on the server side. Which... What if I... I'm going to... Can I try again and smack yeah. into it properly? Let's see what your latency is. It's 120, 130. That's okay. What Simba's just out of curiosity? Oh, God. Uh, two something? An amazing 250. That's good for him. Dogfighting Simba is difficult because your bullets have to go a quarter of a second ahead of him to kill him. Really annoying. Yeah, I have to go halfway around the earth. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Just go back yeah. again. I think doing it slowly, Cortana, as in full body, full body, but you've got more control if your closure rate is lower. Yeah, that's Right high, on. right high. Yeah, yeah, no, on, on, on mine, it blew up. <laughs> Well, that's decent. Everyone's seeing a different that's, thing. That's crazy. But I say, I it felt like I should have hit it. The slower you go, that's in the, the the slower closure rate, the less the ping will matter. If you know what I mean? The less latency will matter. And it actually exploded okay, on my screen. So that time, I I definitely like saw the missile with me in my cockpit, yeah. and I'm fine. I weird. All right, you need to go go Sonic Boom Daisy. All right, Sonic Boom Daisy, and then we're done. I, I, it's all about latency, I think, guys. On different people's machines, different things are happening, which is, I mean, that's the nature of the internet, I'm afraid. Do you all see me as damaged or anything? Negative. Or? Interesting. Squeaky clean. I like the when the, when the fin got taken off. That was funny. Yeah, that was the objective, but I think I took it just a little bit too far forward. Roger. I think when you're doing things like this, yeah. where hip, where small hitboxes are required a single player only okay we're sorry daisy did it work i mean i uh i went over daisy survived daisy survived sonic booms do not affect daisy in fact she's not even scared okay oh and the yeah. missile hit well she's definitely dead now Right, guys, we got to sign off. Wait, yes, uh, the Cortana. missile was still there on yeah. your end. Yes, it came down just atomized Daisy, which is very unfortunate for her, but she's used to it. Well, she's in GR. Oh yeah, sure enough. I uh, I see a bunch of smoke. It just. Uh, I think there's plenty of science done for one day. Anything to add before we sign off? That's what you add. Good your face. I hope you enjoyed yeah. that. <laughs> we'll see you later.